we did reporting over the historic data now, um, basically the, the situation how it is now in our data warehouse. But what about if we want to do a bit of forecasting? What if we want to know where our environment is going uh, in, in the future? You know, are discs going to fill up in the future? Are these table spaces going to expand so that we need a new sun? Or these days it's popular to get storage <coughs> in the cloud. So yeah, uh, what, what would we do really? And also, you know, are all your efforts, um, are they paying off? Uh, we're trying to improve our environments all the time. And, you know, can we actually see if uh, the effort we put into it is not actually paying off? You know, so are there less alerts in the operations manager or is the downtime less? So these are all things we, we can try to do with the capacity of forecasting. Now, what I'd like to do, I think I have about 15 minutes left, so um, let's give you a quick um, overview of what we've been doing with our capacity reports. Um, we have a few now, it's still in beta, so it's actually, um, we're showing you something that is still uh, in testing and we're doing that with a few customers now. But we think there are a few exciting reports and you know, you can get information out of Operations Manager and your data warehouse very quickly to um, create a bit of insight of where your environment is going. So we have our capacity trending reports here. We have a few reports uh, which we created already. We're going to do some extra ones, but these are all performance reports of your performance counters. So um, there are a few. We have multiple object absolute value reports. So this one you could uh, choose multiple objects. So if you have something like a hard disk or something, you can choose free space and the uh, amount of IOs it's um, using at the same time. Or you can use um, a single one, so you can only choose one parameter. It's just you know your preference if you want to choose more or less. And we also have the difference between uh, absolute value, so which would be uh, one gigabyte of memory or a thousand gigabytes of memory, something like that, uh, or a percentage, which is always expressed in the percentage, so from one to a hundred percent. So the one I would like to show you today is the multiple object um, percentage report. And what we see here is when you look at the from and to box is that we, from today, point here, is minus 30 days. So this is basically the information or the amount of days we use to do our regression over. And we can, uh, to improve the accuracy of our uh, forecasting, we can use more data, so we can go back more days, so we can use 60, mm -hmm. and if you have your um, data warehouse set up as a default, then you can go back a year. Your report's going to run a little bit slower because of that, so I'm not sure if you want to do that, but 30 days is a good average. And then plus 30 days is how much you want to, uh, how far you want to draw your regression line. Well, by default, we also do 30 days, so um, that's how long your forecast is going to be in the graph. Now we have two boxes below here. The number of days for critical level and number of days for warning level. Now you can imagine that if you have something like a disk which is filling up over time, is that you'd like a warning like 30 days in advance before it's actually full. So that's what we're doing here is, you know, for a warning level Maybe you want to be warned 60 days in advance before your disk is actually full. Um, 30 days, you want to get a critical warning before your disk is actually full. So that's what we do there. The reverse forecast direction, I'll just leave that for now. And here again, we have all the objects which we can choose, and these are all the objects in your data warehouse. Now we'll choose logical disk, because it's nice and easy. It's a good example and we'll click free space and we can see we have one server in this environment if you had a lot more servers and uh, with agents then they would all show up here and you could select them or unselect them now let's just quickly click run and what we get here is we get to see a regression line over our data points so these bars here they're actually our data which um, is basically the disk space as it is and we can see for the regression line that it's uh, declining over time with free space. And let me just put this at 
So we also have the current capacity, which is 72.73% free space. And we can see here it's forecasted that this logical disk will be a capacity in 115 days. Now let me show you what the warnings and thresholds actually do. They say that, you know, if we wanted to be warned 120, you know, uh, let's see how many days in advance is this. This was 815 days, so say that we want to be warned 820 days in advance that our disk is going to be full. Then we can just punch in this number here in the warning level. Run it again. And then we can see that we actually get a warning 820 days in advance before our disk would be out of free space. So there's one more thing you can do in this report. It's not only limited to something like free space, you can include uh, other counters as well, so pretty much idle time, and run it. And as you can see, It is still in beta, so that's maybe why there's a little break there, but uh, it's not supposed to be there. Is that um, this one is declining quickly over time, and it would also be in warning. So this is a bit of the capacity of trending we're talking about, and you know, uh, yes? Uh, are you doing linear regression, or can I select that in any way? At the moment we're only doing linear regression, yes. Yeah. So that's pretty much where we're heading with these reports. We're also going to add them for uh, basically the amount of alerts you're receiving over a particular instance and also the uptown, uh, uptime and downtime um, of your environment. So these are reports which will be added in the future. So points to take away from this session. Um, Basically, to, to summarize, uh, if you are going to implement um, Oracle and VMware monitoring with SCOM in your environment, then the first thing you really need is support from your organization, so your VMware and Oracle admins. Um, and also, if you're going to use SCOM, then line of business applications and reporting, just as I showed, they can bridge the difference in the information needs for IT pros. Uh, CIOs or people who make decisions, you know, all the different people who are actually involved in the IT environment. 